Wednesday session of the College National Finals Rodeo featured a couple of qualified bull rides and those have been few and far between. First off, here's Kobe Radley from Panola College. He pulled the 75 aboard a bull named Poker Face. Radley has rode two out of three. He is in third place in the average and we'll see if two rides will get him into Saturday's short go. The same will go for Clayton Sellers from West Texas College. A 73 in the bull riding for him on Wednesday night. He has covered two out of three and is second in the average. He'll be competing in the Extreme Bulls event in Reno, Nevada later this week. In the bareback, Thomas Davis from Central Wyoming College had a rough night as he was bucked off. This guy played football at Upton Sundance, but the bareback didn't phase him. He was up later in the evening in the steer wrestling. Also in the bareback, Cole Reiner from KC with a 65 and a half to move him up to eighth place in the average. Reiner is a state champion wrestler who competed for Buffalo High School. Over to the Saddle Bronc, it's been a tough rodeo for Cheyenne East grad Brody Cress. He didn't get too much out of his horse on Wednesday and was awarded a re-ride, which evidently he declined. He was bucked off in the first round. This is the guy who won the average at the NFR back in December. Also in the Saddle Bronc, Calvin Schaefer from Northwest College in Powell with a 69 on Wednesday night. He has three qualified rides and currently is sitting in fifth place in the aggregate. Carter Elshier of Gillette College made a 3 for 3 in the Saddle Bronc with a 65 yesterday that may have been woefully underscored. Elshier is tied for third in the average at 219 on three head. And in the Bulldogging, here's Thomas Davis from Central Wyoming College and a 4 and 8 here in this event. That put him fourth in the average, so that was a great way to bounce back after that disappointment in the bareback. For the ladies, Ricky Engesser of Gillette College with a 2-9 and nine in the breakaway roping. She is 9-1 and one on 3, good enough for 4th in the average, but she is currently 1st in the all-around. Her Gillette College team is in 2nd place halfway through the CNFR.